Hi everyone, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Abby and I'm joined today by Christina, and we're gonna take the next few minutes to walk through the North Lamar section of the Orange Line Light Rail Project. Closed captioning is available in English and Spanish by clicking the CC button or the settings button on the bottom right of the video window. The Orange Line team has established eight working groups designed to dive a little deeper into each of the project's eight sections. Stations serve as the boundaries for these working groups. For the North Lamar Working Group, the boundaries are the Koenig Station to the south and the North Lamar Transit Center, or NLTC for short, on the north. NLTC is the northern end of the initial investment. You can see this by the change from a solid orange line to a dashed orange line. As part of the initial investment, Rapid Bus would serve the area between NLTC and the ultimate northern end of the project at Tech Ridge. If you're interested in participating in live working group sessions so that you can ask questions and provide feedback in real time, please visit catmetro.org slash get dash involved to check out events happening now and to sign up for a future working group meeting. After this next slide, Christine is going to take over the screen sharing and walk you through the engineering schematics for the North Lamar section. Schematics are a technical tool used by the engineering team to develop the design. Each page has a legend, but you won't really be able to see the legend while we're zoomed in to the project. So I wanted to briefly orient you to what that looks like. I'm going to review some important items. Just noting that this legend that you see on the screen is related to the schematics that Christina will be sharing, not the cross sections on this page. So starting up here in the top left, you'll see the SB or southbound and NV or northbound tracks are blue and red solid lines. The tracks stick together, so you'll see them side by side like this throughout uh, the design plans. Right below that, you'll see the existing and proposed ROW or right of way limit indicated by a black and blue dash line. This shows you where we might need to allocate additional space for transportation facilities or right of way throughout the project. The rest of this area is not uh, super critical, so we'll move on to the right hand column. The top, this seafoam green color indicates an at grade or street level guideway. The sky blue below indicates retain cut or fill for the guideway. This color is used to show that the guideway isn't at street level, but it's also not fully elevated. We use this to show where we are gaining or uh, decreasing elevation as a result of an aerial guideway segment. The orange color indicates that the guideway is fully aerial or elevated above street level, and the purple um, indicates uh, underground guideway. We won't see that in this section. The hash rectangles are for station platforms. This is where you'll wait for the train. And the gray that you'll see extensively on the existing roadway is new and approved pavement for the vehicle lanes. These last three colors, yellow, green, and magenta, represent different bicycle and pedestrian facilities. And Christina will explain these in more detail when we're looking at the actual schematics. Just below the legend, you'll see the direction orientation. You'll see that the schematics read uh, south is to the uh, uh, read south to north, with south on the left and north on the right. Finally, on the right hand side, of this uh, graphic, you'll see that we have um, cross sections for the project in some key areas. Well, the schematics that we're about to see are designed to show us what the project would look like from above. These help to show us what the project would look like if we were standing right in the middle of it. Christina will uh, talk about cross sections in more detail, but um, through the North Lamar area, we're generally proposing full uh, bike and pedestrian facilities separated by a tree furniture zone. These areas are green in each of these drawings. In the vicinity of the Koenig station, the tracks and station indicated in orange um, are in the middle of the existing roadway between the car and bus lanes on either side. These are gray. The Crestview area presents some interesting challenges and opportunities, which Christina will talk us through and explain why um, the, uh, the station and light rail tracks are elevated in this uh, view. In the vicinity of the North Lamar Transit Center, um, there's also some interesting things happening because of the varying vertical profiles of Lamar in this area. But you can see how the light rail lines and station are in the middle of the existing roadway in this area as well. With that, I will turn it over to Christina to share the engineering design plans. Thanks, Abby. Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the North Lamar segment of the Orange Line. I'd like to start with a quick discussion about the typical section I'm showing on screen, which is generally consistent throughout this segment. As Abby mentioned, picture yourself standing in the middle of the road and this is what you would see. Outside of what is called the light rail guideway, the roadway consists of two through lanes in the north and south direction, similar to the existing condition in most of the segment. 
As we approach intersections with traffic signals, we also open up left turn lanes. Outside of the roadway curb, we have a raised protected bike lane and a sidewalk separated by either a simple buffer or full landscape zone, which varies in width. This typical section illustrates the main design challenge for this segment, the existing constrained right-of-way, which for the most part is 80 feet wide along North Lamar. The proposed right-of-way varies between 115 and 155 feet, depending on the presence of those left turn lanes and the varying width of the buffer zone. Overall, one of the main design goals for this segment was to limit impacts to existing structures along North Lamar where it was possible. Let's take a look at plan view now. And again, I'd like to quickly orient us for where we are in Austin and what you are seeing on the screen. North is to the right, and we are at the intersection of Guadalupe and North Lamar, better known as the Triangle. To the south is the North Quad segment of the Orange Line, but from here, we are going to travel north. And Abby covered the legend briefly, but I'd like to go over the, what the colors represent now that we are looking at the plans. Light green represents the light rail guideway, and it runs along the center of North Lamar for almost this entire segment at street level. There's one exception, which we'll cover in a moment. The darker green represents a bike lane, and as we saw in the typical section, this runs continuously throughout the segment. Yellow includes the sidewalks, and then for now, the intersections as well. The intersection details will continue to be refined as we move forward in the design. Pink includes landscape and buffer zones, which could include things like trees, benches, and lighting. Finally, the existing right-of-way line is represented by a dashed black line and proposed right-of-way is the dashed blue line. The intersection of North Lamar and Guadalupe will look and function very similarly to the existing intersection, but will include traffic signals for all directions to protect new bike and pedestrian crossings, as well as protect crossing traffic from light rail vehicles. We move north from there with the typical section we showed earlier and start to see some of the intersections where traffic signals will allow for left turns and or U-turns across the guideway. In between these intersections, no left turns will be allowed across the guideway. If a left turn needs to be made, for example, into iJoy or Revival Vintage, a southbound driver will approach the next signalized intersection, in this case 51st Street, complete a U-turn first, and then make a right turn into the property. This design provides for a much safer driving experience. Just south of Koenig Lane, also known as 2222 to the west, we have Koenig Station. This station platform is in the center of North Lamar at street level and will likely be accessed via crosswalks at Houston Street to the south and a pedestrian only crossing on the north end of the platform. Looking at this area in cross section view, we can see how patrons will board the light rail vehicle from the center platform with the rest of the through traffic and bike and pedestrian facilities similar to the other cross section. North of Koenig Station, we continue with our street level guideway, typical section and spaced signalized intersections until just north of Brentwood. The area surrounding our next station, Crestview is one of the most complex areas of the North Lamar segment due to the mix of transportation modes in this area. First, the roadway intersection of North Lamar and Airport Boulevard is a busy skewed intersection with a lot of left turning traffic. Additionally, there is a Capital Metro Red Line commuter train station just to the west of the roadway intersection. And today, the red line itself crosses North Lamar at street level just to the south of the intersection. Railroad protection gates drop with each train crossing, and this causes frequent disruptions to the already busy intersection. With planned increases in red line frequency, the traffic disruptions will increase as well. One of the solutions being explored here is a design where the red line tracks and station platform would be placed underground in what is called a cut and cover section with the end result similar to a tunnel. This project is separate and unrelated to Orange Line, but it is expected to be completed before Orange Line would be in operation. 
It's important to note that these design considerations are in an early stage and your feedback will be requested and considered as this project moves forward. The street level tracks on which Redline currently operates also serve freight rail, although mostly at night. There is also a heavily used Capital Metro bus stop just to the west of the roadway intersection, which serves local routes as well as the current Metro Rapid 801. While the 801 is expected to be discontinued in this segment once Orange Line is operational, the local bus stop is expected to remain. Finally, there's a large volume of bike and pedestrian use in this area, which continues to grow as development increases. Let's take a look at profile view now in combination with plan view. Because of the complicated mix of modes, the Crestview station platform will be on an elevated bridge structure which spans the red line right away and is to the west of the roadway intersection. Access for patrons of this platform is still being designed, but Crestview station will ultimately serve as a major transfer station between modes. While this area is a challenge, it also presents a special opportunity to grow and connect our communities in ways that benefit everyone. To the north and south of Crestview Station, the guideway will be elevated between retaining walls and the roadway will remain at its existing elevation. North of this area, the light rail guideway is again street level in the center of North Lamar as we approach the intersection with 183. The major design challenge in this area is to minimize impacts to the existing infrastructure, including overpasses at Anderson Lane, 183, and its frontage roads. The light rail guideway will travel in the center of the North Lamar main lanes and roughly at their existing elevation, which dip below the existing overpasses. Just north of 183, we reach the final station in this segment and in the initial investment area, North Lamar Transit Center Station. Because this station platform will be located in the center of the North Lamar main lanes, convenient and safe access for Orange Line users is the key design component. Currently, a conceptual pedestrian bridge is proposed here with the goal of providing access to the platform as well as connecting communities on the east and west side of North Lamar. This design will continue to be refined as we move forward. For the initial investment, the light rail guideway will run slightly further to the north to provide the light rail vehicles additional track for operational purposes. As the future investment area advances and the, north, the orange line continues north, the light rail guideway will continue to run street level in the center of North Lamar, where we reach the end of the North Lamar segment and join the North Line segment. Thanks so much, and I'm going to turn it back over to Abby. Thank you, Christina, and thank you all for joining us for to review the North Lamar section of the Orange Line Light Rail project. Uh, please take a moment to complete the questions below and tell us what you think about the project's design in this area, including strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities. And well, just a reminder that, you know, 15% design, which is where we are, is, is really quite early in the process. And as Christina mentioned, there's still ample opportunity to incorporate feedback. So we'd love to hear what you think. To learn about uh, what the plans look like north of here, check out the Northline video. And to learn about the plan south of here, please check out the North Quad video. And please visit our Get Involved page at catmetro.org backslash get-involved to find out how to stay involved with the Project Connect program. Thank you.